Hey guys, this is Joel from GuitarSkills.com and in this video I'd like to show you how to play a cool blues lick. Now what you've just heard there was a lick in the open position making use of string bending, hammer-ons and pull-offs. What's happening here is I'm bending the D note which is the third fret on the B string, bending that upper tone, and then I'm picking the open B. And then I'm just descending down the blue scale, which is three open on the B, three two open on the G. Slowly. Now pay attention to how I'm playing these notes. I'm picking the third fret on the B, and then I'm pulling off to the open B. Then I'm picking three two on the G, pulling off to the open G. So pick pick pull. So pick pull, pick pick pull. see you can get some nice uh, speed happening there when you use these legato techniques which is the hammer-ons and pull-offs. Then I add two on the D, two on the G, two on the D, open one on the G with a hammer-on and then picking the open E. a nice Texas blues sound out of that, very similar to Steve Ray Vaughan. All right, so a couple of things to watch out for. You want to uh, make sure that you, just as you're still going up to bend to that D note, sorry, to the E note, you want to then play the open E. Make sure you use those pull-offs like I showed you. Pick, pull, pick, pick, pull. Then for this, I'm using my middle finger. You can see that I'm rolling it, right? I'm not leaving it on both notes. Because then both notes will ring out at the same time. So instead I'm rolling it. So I play the second note on the D string. Then I roll it down slightly to play the second note on the G string. And when I roll it, I'm no longer fretting the second fret in the D string, which is why it stops ringing. And then open G, one, E. All right, so that's a really fun lick. And Something else you can do is you can play that exact same lick 12 frets higher. Also in it with a double stop. So it's exactly the same lick, just 12 frets higher. And if you like to get some extra points for this lick, try playing it here on the you know in the fifth position with the E minor pentatonic scale. I should make that the blue scale, but it's going to be... So you can see what I did there, it's exactly the same lick, but I'm playing it here in the middle area of the neck. And I'm using some of the major pentatonic scale together with the minor blue scale. As you can hear, that's got quite a vibe to it, right? Because I'm using the specific ways of articulating my notes through the use of bends, hammer-ons, and pull-offs. And by doing that in three different areas of the neck, I have to slightly adapt the way I might fret those or the way I might phrase those. But that's going to give you some of the freedom to be able to play 
famous or well-known licks in different areas of the neck that you can then just pull out in a solo as and when you need them. All right, guys, really hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you'd like to get more lessons like this, including this lesson's tabs and free jam tracks, then you should register for a free guitarskills.com membership today. Simply click the link in the description box. I'll then send you the tabs of this lesson and you'll get instant access to our private members area. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Comment below and let me know what else you'd like me to cover so I can give you what you need. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel because I'm going to keep these videos coming.